You may have seen the next comic on Take My Wife on Stars and Viceland. Please welcome Irene too. I uh, hate going to public bathrooms though because I never know which one I should go into. And I think I should just start going to the men's room because no one would say anything to me. But I don't want people to think that I'm pooping all the time. You know? Yeah, it's weird to take 30 second long poops, okay? So usually I go to the ladies' room, which I like better anyways. It smells nice, it's clean. Uh, but whenever I go in there, a lady will always look at me and then look at the bathroom sign, very confused, uh, and then look back at me and point to the bathroom sign and go, this is the women's bathroom. Yeah, as if I can't read drawings. <laughs> right, like we all saw the little triangle, like that's a skirt, I know, okay? <laughs> like I've worn a triangle before, you know? One time, or triangle, one time, and I was like, I don't like triangles, so. <laughs> yeah, now I just wear uh, two rectangles. <laughs> but that lady is always looking at me like she's expecting something, so I think the next time it happens, just gonna like, pull my tampon out and give it to her, you know? <laughs> like, is this what you wanted? Are you the bathroom bridge troll? So got to pay your tampon to pee. I didn't know. And I flew up here uh, a few days ago. I hate flying because every time I fly, I have to go through security, right? You know where you uh, pose for three seconds in that full body scanner. It tells you if you're a terrorist or not. Um, <laughs> and when you go through the machine, the agent actually has to pick your gender. And since I look like me, he always picks male, right? And then I go through the machine and then he's like, ah, fuck, we got to do it again. Um, <laughs> And I'm like, what do you mean we have to do it again, right? Like, you messed up. I feel like you just have to do it again, right? Even if I was carrying a bomb, just let me keep it, okay? Like, that's good customer service. So they make me go through the machine twice. I'm getting cancer twice as fast, um, which is fun. But t sometimes when I go through that first time, they'll need to pat me down for some reason. I don't know, my pants are always linty, and they're like, that's dangerous. Um, so some guy will start patting me down and I don't say anything because it's nine in the morning, I'm tired, also it does nothing for me. Uh, so he'll start patting me down and right about uh, here, uh, you could just see the color drain from his face. He's like, oh my God, this might be sexual harassment. And that just makes my day, you know? <laughs> like, he thinks I'm gonna sue him, I'm not. But uh, you don't know that, so. Just walk away and I wave and a wink, it's fun. It's like a little game I like to play. Cause I just imagine him going home to his wife later, he's sweating profusely, not trying not to cry cause he's a man. Uh, and then his wife's like, what's wrong? He's like, I don't know, that Asian girl boy really freaked me out. So, uh, I hope I'm not tripping over any words. Um, it's hard because I got an Invisalign recently. I don't know if you can tell, they're clear braces. Yeah, I got them to fix my teeth so you can't see them. Uh, what they don't tell you, the lisp, but uh, not invisible. So, yeah, just have a little bit of a lisp now. And the worst part is when I got the Invisalign, I accidentally told my orthodontist I did comedy. Right, usually I lie because I don't wanna talk about this. So when people are like, oh, what do you do? I'm like, I'm in marketing. Uh, Cause no one cares when you're in marketing. So, <laughs> it's boring. So I said I did comedy and she's like, oh, that's so cool. You should tell jokes about Invisalign. I'll give you free teeth whitening. So here I am. <laughs> I guess I'm in marketing now. Uh, 